Hey guys, welcome back to another haul video. I know it's been a really long time since I did any video of any sort on this channel, but uh, I've been pretty busy. Uh, I went to Comic-Con last year, or last year, last month, or however months ago that was. Keeping track of time is kind of hard right now, but um, I went to Comic-Con. I didn't do a vlog. I didn't do a haul, so I'm sorry, but I do have a haul for you guys today. I went to Hong Kong and Tokyo. Um, I got some stuff I wanted to show you guys. I am working on a vlog that I shot while I was out there, but it's a lot of footage. I'm sorting through it, and I don't know when that's going to be done. But for the meantime, I wanted to get this video up so I can show you guys what I have. And I can open this shit finally, and I don't have to worry about it being in box. So let me show you all the cool shit that I got in Hong Kong first, and then Tokyo. First thing I got is this Bear Brick uh, Boba Fett keychain thing. Ah. Uh, I don't really collect Bear Brick, but I love me some Boba Fett, and it's a little keychain, so I put it on my backpack, and I got someone a R2-D2, um, and then they said they would give me a deal if I got two, so I got this Boba Fett for myself and an R2-D2 for uh, someone else. So, yeah, very excited. I think this is my first Bear Brick that I have for myself, so... There you go. That's the first thing I got. Next thing I got is this Gambit by Toy Biz. And I actually had this figure when I was a kid, but it broke. <laughs> My grandma bought it for me when I was a kid. And then within the hour that we bought it from the store to the car, I think his leg or his arm broke off. So I was very bummed about that. And then we went back into the store to exchange it. And that was their last one. So we just got our money back and Actually, I think we just, and I ended up getting another toy. But I always wanted this figure back um, because this plugs into his hand and it lights up. He has his bow staff. And for an action figure at the time, this looked really cool. Like he had um, soft plastic for his trench coat. Um, it just, he looks really cool. And Gamut's always been one of my favorite X-Men characters because of the animated series. But um, yeah, as far as uh, 90s action figures go, he actually looks really cool. Um, so I'm glad to have him back. I bought, uh, I bought him for like $3, I believe. Um, he's still in card, but barely, like he is barely on there. So I'm going to, I bought this as a wall piece. I'm just going to put this on my wall. Uh, I just got to find a way to secure this. So Gambit just doesn't fucking slip out of the card while he's, uh, hung up on the wall. So I'm very happy to have that. Next thing I got is this amazing Yamaguchi Revolta Carnage figure. Um, this is a bootleg. I bought this at the uh, 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 night market out there in Hong Kong, and I got it for $20. And um, like I said, this is a bootleg. The original version cost 80 something bucks, and I didn't really want to spend 80 bucks for this figure. Um, but I got it for 20 and yeah, it is a bootleg, but I feel like I could just put him in a pretty cool pose and then leave him on my Revoltech shelf, and you won't even be able to tell. And if anything, I have a Carnage figure now because I think I just resold my uh, uh, Marvel Legends figure. I'm going to be reselling a bunch of my stuff soon, uh, tying up the collection, but uh, I'm going to play with this guy, see how this works, because this is my first bootleg Revoltech uh, figure. And at that same stand, they had a bootleg Venom. They had a uh, shrunken down NECA Deadpool, which is the quarter, squ quarter scale, and they shrunk it down to the 112 scale, or about seven inch scale. Uh, I don't really know, it was because it's a weird scale. But uh, yeah, so I got this, Hong Kong. Pretty excited about that. Next up I got is this Iron Man Mark 20 Python armor from SH Figure Arts. This is the Hong Kong release. Uh, this is a, Asia exclusive, I think. But um, there it is. It's a black and gold armor. It's pretty much the Mark Seven, just with a different paint scheme, and then I think they added some armored pieces to it. Um, yeah, I, I, I was gonna buy this armor uh, as a hot toy initially because they just this just released while I was out there actually, and they had this hot toys released for a while now, a few years, when Iron Man 3 came out. I was going to buy it just because I just dig the look of black and gold armor for Tony. Uh, but I realized that would be an extensive way to go if I wanted to build, like, armor build and build up my hall of armor for Iron Man. Very expensive to do that through Hot Toys. So instead, I'm going to be, I'm doing that through uh, the Yorts and Legends. 
So there's more shots of the figure. There's the sticker for the Hong Kong exclusive release. Uh, and I'm glad I got it at Hong Kong because uh, I was actually going to wait to buy a bunch of my figure arts in Tokyo and then just buy a bunch of hot toys in Hong Kong. Uh, not a lot of hot toys that I wanted in Hong Kong, ironically enough. Uh, I saw this for 55, 60 bucks in Hong Kong. Uh, glad I bought it because when I went to Tokyo, I couldn't find it anywhere. And the only place that I did see it at was asking for $85. So glad I did not wait and regret it later on. Because that would have happened with this figure as well. I got the Iron Man Mark 85 uh, armor from Endgame. This one was one I was hoping I would get. I got this one for 75 bucks, which is still above retail because I think when he came out, he came out at 60 something dollars, which isn't too bad because this on eBay is pushing 130, 140. Um, again, I was very hesitant to get it because I thought he would be everywhere in Tokyo. That was not the case. I got to Tokyo and he was pretty much going for eBay prices of like 130, 140 and not many places had him. So I'm glad that I bought him when I did. Otherwise, I would have been pissed at myself because I really love this armor. And i he's very hard to come by still. Um, they're probably going to re-release him for um, an American release. Or he's going to come with more accessories and stuff. But for now, I'm glad that I have him. Um, this is one of the pieces that I was really hoping to find out there. And I got him for a price that didn't really bum me out. It's slightly above retail, but not eBay prices. So... Glad that I got the Mark 85. Um, so that, that's what I got at Hong Kong. Uh, I spent three days there, three, four days. Then I went to Tokyo. Um, and from there, I kind of blew it up. I didn't get as much, but I got some uh, pretty cool pieces. Um, first piece I got was this Far From Home uh, advanced upgraded suit uh, Spider-Man figure from SH Figure Arts. A lot of figure arts today. Um, this is from Far From Home, the black and red Spidey suit, and there was some issues with the uh, Homecoming Spider-Man SH Figure Arts. He was a little thin, his proportions were a little off, and then I was watching a review from uh, Robo on Foosh, and he's saying how this is a really good figure, so I got it based on his review, and I was very hesitant to buy this just because I didn't really want to buy all of the different costumes for different characters ex except for iron man uh, i was pretty much good with my red and blue homecoming spidey suit but but he, because he said that this is a significant upgrade figure wise and design wise that it is worth investing in so i got it um i haven't opened any of these yet but i'm very excited to he's one of the ones that i'm very excited to open up and mess around with because he does look dope in that black and red spidey suit Reminds me of the Superior Spider-Man costume. Uh, next up, I got, not a figure, but uh, I went to the, uh, the Shonen Jump store in Tokyo. And then I got this uh, Great Ape from Dragon Ball Z sticker, which is pretty cool. 350 which is, I think, 3 or $4? I don't know. Not very good at math. Uh, next up, I got this release the week I was in Tokyo. It is the Mafex Aquaman action figure. This is a piece that I've, I really like. Uh, I'm really excited for. Uh, this and uh, Shazam, I'm very excited for from Mafex. And Mafex actually has really stepped up their QC issues. So uh, look at that. That looks pretty pretty spot on. Really good Momoa. Orange and green look, look great. So really excited to, to open this guy up. I have the Justice League Aquaman figure. And I... I'm not a big fan of that armor design, but I kept it because uh, uh, the alternate heads, like here, I'm just not a big fan of the way his hair looks in this because it's he's supposed to be underwater, so it's just kind of floating and it's just kind of, I don't know, it's, they're supposed to uh, simulate the look of his hair being underwater and just flowing underwater. Um, his hair in the Justice League figure is more of him above water. So I feel like I kept that so I could use different heads for different situations and different pictures or different display options. But um, yeah, I got this in Tokyo. 
at the Ami Ami store out there. And which, ironically enough, because I was very excited for this, I did have this at Ami Ami pre-ordered, but I just ended up picking it up at their store in person, which is pretty cool. And saving like 20 bucks on in international shipping. And that's one figure I'm very excited for. Excuse me, Arthur. And then the next piece, the last piece, I actually didn't get this last, but this is one of uh, my grail pieces. I did not expect to find this out there, um, let alone for the price that I did. This is one of the, this is one of my grail pieces and I'm super excited. This is actually my birthday present to myself. But it is the uh, Bruce Lee DX4 Hot Toy. There's not enough space. There we go. Um, yeah. It's the DX4 Hot Toy. It's the Bruce Lee from Enter the Dragon. And this guy retails for 800 bucks, sometimes 600 bucks on eBay. He was used when I got him, and I was able to get him for 230 which is ridiculous. Um, I opened the box in store, I inspected it, everything is there, it's complete. Um, the, the, the joints seemed fine, the movable eyes for uh, Bruce seemed like it was working. And I am very happy to finally have this in my collection for a really great price. Um, even like most of his clothes, it seemed like it's sealed still. It wasn't even opened. All the accessories are there. I mean, just look at this. This head sculpt is it's incredible. Where's it? And the cool thing about these old school DX figures is you can actually move his, uh, his eyes. There you go. So that's awesome. I love this. I'm very excited to have this in my collection, like I said. And it actually comes with his uh, mirror backdrop. So I'm gonna have, let's put this guy into the display. Very excited to finally have him. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. That's, for, that's my haul for this week. Probably for a while because um, yeah. Probably not be buying stuff for a while for various reasons. But uh, thanks for watching. Until the next video, like I said, I'll try and get that that vlog video up for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do video wise for you. So thanks for watching. Take thanks for taking the time to check out all the cool shit that I got. It's been such a long time I forgot what I usually say at the end as a tag for videos. But um, I don't know. Whatever. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.